Hello everyone, my name is Ashfaq Ahmad and I work in the field of structural biology and bioinformatics. Today we will talk about how to use Ember Relax for structure minimization or for structure relaxation. In today's video we will cover the theoretical aspects as well as the practical aspects like how to perform energy min minimization and actual and we will use Google Colab. So let's start. What is structure relax or you can say what is energy minimization? We will perform this using Ember so therefore it is essential to give you a basic idea of Ember. Ember is a package for molecular dynamic simulation and we will use it today for structure minimization or for structure relaxation. What is structure minimization or what is structure relax? So uh, I will try to explain it from the different angles or from the different uh, perspective. If you are using a structure from PDB in your experiment, so remember uh, most of the structure or many of the structure present in the PDB are solved by X-ray crystallography. And if we use the term crystallography, it means that before shooting by the X-rays, the protein structure are uh, preserved or I would say achieved through crystallization. Now what is crystallization? Actually uh, in crystallization scientists or people they use different salts to quench out to remove water and when there is no water so the structure will be somehow a kind of uh, will make some unit cell or some symmetry in the form of crystals if i give you a, a basic example from the daily life so if you remember that our forefathers are still people living in a remote areas they are uh, preserve, preserving the dry fruits or the meats. Uh, how they are doing this? If you know the method, they are applying different salts normally in a seal and what that salt is doing, it actually removes the water from the inside food part and therefore the microorganisms cannot survive there. So the same way we use or the researcher are using different salts during crystallization and they remove the water by the osmosis or diffusion whatever you say and eventually the protein structure is crystallized now if the structure is crystallized it means that the structure became stiff stiff or i would say harder so in this case the the structure is stiff the structure is harder and now it is shooted by the x-rays and now we are seeing the structural coordinates of that particular state from PDP now if you are using this that structure it is necessary to minimize it to relax it because in real system these proteins are not harder they are not stiff they are flexible they can move they can move everywhere they want inside the cell or outside the cell so therefore we are minimizing our protein structures if we get it from the PDB because most of them are solved by x-ray crystallography the other way, uh, the, the other method we are having structures in PDB like ECM, electron microscopy. So the electron microscopy uses cryo methods, uh, 
from the cryometers I mean uh, they are using minus 196 uh, liquid nitrogen to store the sample so it's always uh, I would say also a necessary step uh, step there to minimize the structure if even if it is solved by the uh, electron microscopy cryo EM okay now you may have a question that if I have a model structure so do I need to minimize it uh, I think yes because the model you got by any program by space model or some other program most of the time uh, because these are statistical programs they use some statistical force fields uh, they, they believe on calculations and they solve the structure on some statistical mechanics so there is a possibility that you will have some steric clash in your structure steric clash means the clash between two atoms of the protein so therefore the answer is that you need to minimize the structure before any step of molecular dynamic simulation or docking or any other thing okay so that, that uh, I, I, I hope I have clear that why you will do energy minimization now the second step is why we do energy uh, how we do energy minimization and what actually in energy minimization we are doing or we are achieving so according to the basic rule uh, if the protein has the lowest energy particularly if it is in between minus 20 or minus 60 it will be in a native state so that is why we are trying to use a protein in a native state in our experiment and therefore we try to minimize the structure or to relax the structure before to use normally the ember will do some heating and that heat will allow the atoms to move freely or to come out from the stiffness stage what is all about this picture i kept this picture to 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 tell you one interesting fact if you see this fact, a picture the the picture i got it from a protein folding scenario but I will explain it uh, here this G we also call it Gibbs free energy so the y axis is uh, you suppose this is G if it goes up it means high G it, if it goes down it means lower G or Gibbs free energy for example your protein is here we call it reactants whatever uh, here is your protein now you perform some minimization we will talk about the minimization so the protein will come here this is called the activation energy but uh, ignore it here we will discuss it in some other lecture so here is your protein and it will first cross this barrier then it will comes down here if it comes down here so now make a straight line here so the initial protein its energy let's say this is minus one let's say this is minus one or okay let's say it is zero this line is equal to zero so initially the energy was zero but now the protein came here so if you make a straight line here let's say this is minus two so this difference is called delta g or the change in the gibbs free energy now you need to understand three steps before going to the practical aspects one is tolerance one is stiff stiffness and the other one is iteration what actually is tolerance this is a parameter we will use it during the minimization step uh, in our tutorial and uh, it defines the maximum allowed energy difference between successive iterations iteration we will discuss here so it defines the maximum delta G 
here we 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 introduce i introduce you what is actually the delta g so if you define that the delta g should be let's say minus 2 so when the protein comes here the process will be stopped because it will achieve the minus 2 if you say the delta g should be minus 10 let's say now the process will not stop here it will find another minima possibly here and then you can say uh, the, the the process will be stopped when it reaches here so the tolerance basically means that how much which which value which difference you want in your relax or in your minimization okay when the energy difference falls below the tolerance value let's say you have selected two and the energy falls let's say 2.5 or let's say one the minimization is considered converged we will call it like the converged state is achieved so the converged state is basically dependent on the value of your tolerance you provided okay stiffness stiffness is another parameters and it tells the program how to restrain the protein atoms during the minimization process in in other words how to heat up the protein if you provide more uh, if you provide higher stiffness values so th the heating process will be lower in other words and the relaxation process will be smaller little or uh, fewer i would say not a fewer let's say uh, smaller okay but and it the the structure will be minimized quickly while if you provide a lower value so it can also destroy the structure because it will shake each and everything because it may also shake your helices it may also shake or make it more flexible your beta sheet so uh, there always be uh, some equilibrium or some uh, middle value in your mind or we will use the default one iteration it means a uh, number of cycle if i i know you most of you will be aware of the pcr cycles so iteration in bioinformatics is simply it just like the pcr cycle just like the pcr cycle i'm not saying that these are pcr cycles so if you set the iteration let's say 10 so the these these processes these steps will be performed 10 times in a cycle and the program will not stop once it achieved the 10 cycles or the 10 iterations okay so i hope i have covered all the theoretical aspects which i was uh, i thought uh, was necessary okay now we are heading towards the practical aspect that how we will perform uh, this kind of thing okay we will perform all this in uh, google collab setup so what you need to do you just need to type this google collab research I, I i will also drop this link in the description section enter once you enter now you need to select the ppi protein protein interaction now here you need to you will see this one structure relax ember open now connect once your uh, google collab notebook is connected then we will you will need to click here let's say click it's now let's say run anyway i will pause this uh, for a while because it will take three to four minutes to install okay welcome back um, it's installed now you can clear the output if you don't like 
Now how you will use your structure so before that you need to understand these three things I already discussed in, uh, in the slide maximum iterations how many iterations do you want here are 2000 you can increase it or you can uh, stay whatever decrease it it's up to you remember if you increase the iteration it may it will increase slightly your running time okay uh, this is about tolerance by default it is 2.39 you can decrease or increase but please read this do not decrease it so much or increase it so much this this is the stiffness value okay this is the GPU if you want to use it you can click it but uh, it's up to you now how to use your own structure remember it also depends if your structure is a smaller structure then it may take uh, a little not so much longer but if you are using a complex structure or a bigger structure it may take a bit longer but not very long it will be below 10 minutes okay now you need to click here once you click here you will see this thing here choose file or cancel upload so now choose file I will upload a smaller structure from my uh, let's say download folder oh, okay I'm I'm I I'm providing this structure just a smaller protein of 96 amino acid having three uh, alpha helices open now it will take some time and then when it is done automatically the structure will be downloaded let's see or let's wait okay now it's done uh, a new structure its name is relax.pdb and it is downloaded and it's here now you can compare this structure with the original structure uh, by rmsd and you will see the differences that uh, how much improvement has occurred if you are not satisfied you can rerun by changing some iterations or other things and eventually you will have a much improved structure for your research that's it thank you so much for watching if you haven't uh, subscribed yet please subscribe this channel for more videos thank you bye bye and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section bye